clutch is slipping, then stay tuned. Because today I'm going to show you how to replace a clutch on your car. Now this Mazda's clutch has been slipping for a while, but now when you put it in gear, it doesn't even move when you give it gas. It just sits there. It's slipping so bad. So it's time to put a new clutch in, and here we go. So the first thing we do is jack it up in the air, stick it up on jack stands, do both sides to get it nice and level. Then we crawl under the car, and since this is a rear wheel drive car, we got to remove the drive shaft. And in the case of this Mazda, this big bar is in the way, so we have to bolt that off first. Then you take the bolts off the back of the drive shaft and grab the end of the shaft and pull it out of the transmission. And move it back far enough so the transmission has room. With that out of the way, when we unbolt the transmission, it'll be able to slide back so we can get to the clutch. But before we do that, we got to get the gear shift out of the way, so we'll take the center console piece out and get rid of the screws all around and pull it up. After we take all the screws out, we unscrew the gear shift knob, then the whole assembly pulls out of the way. Then you just remove the three little bolts in here, and then the gear shift knob just pulls out of the way. Then we'll go back under the transmission and unscrew the speedometer cable here. Then pull it out of the way so it doesn't get in the way. And now comes the fun part. We got to take all the bolts off on the transmission that bolted to the engine, and some of them are in real stinker positions. But with enough persistence, you can get all the bolts off. And you also have to unbolt the clutch slave cylinder here and move that out of the way. And before you drop the transmission, put a drip pan under the back, because fluid will drip down from the back of the transmission where the drive shaft was taken off. Now transmissions are pretty heavy, so put a jack under the bottom of the transmission to hold it in place while you slide it off the engine. And now that we've slid the transmission off, here's the clutch assembly in here, we'll just unbolt it. In this case, there's six bolts holding the clutch on. You take all six off. Then just give it a few taps with a hammer and a big screwdriver, and out it falls. And as you can see on the old clutch disc, it wore right down to the rivets. As you see here, the new one, the rivets are real deep. That's how much thickness is worn off on the old one. Now whenever I replace a clutch, I buy a whole kit with all the parts, including this cute little alignment tool to align it back in right. It's the best deal, buy a whole kit, don't buy one or two pieces. The kit comes with everything, including a little pilot bearing that goes inside here that you hammer in. And it comes with a new throwout bearing, instead of this old junky one that's all worn out and doesn't move much. It just slips on the end of the yoke of the transmission. And it even comes with this little pack of grease that you put a little bit of grease inside the splines so it slides on better. Now the only trick you have to remember is the side with the lump in it faces the transmission, and the flat side in the front faces the engine. Otherwise, you'd put it in backwards. Now, some people will resurface the flywheel here on the engine, but this one doesn't have any grooves in there, and it's really smooth, so I just leave it alone. They're very expensive, and in a small car like this, they can last as long as a car. Then you slide the clutch alignment tool with the little clutch disc in place, so it's held in place correctly by the tool. Then the clutch plate fits right on the top and bolts back on. Then you slide the transmission, and it might take a lot of wiggling. Then put some big bolts on uh, to hold it in place while you jack the rest up. Then you slide the drive shaft back in the transmission. Then you bolt the drive shaft to the rear end. Then after you bolt all the bottom in, put the gear shift lever back in and bolt it in. Bolt it in place. And then screw the gear shift knob back on. Then jack it up and get rid of the jack stands. Let the car down. And start her up and take her for a spin. So the next time your clutch starts slipping, why not replace it yourself? And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.